Harry Maguire shoots arrows at a target board, he has a 50% chance of hitting the bull's eye on each shot. Can't go with the probability that Harry Maguire will hit the bull's eye in his first shot and his second shot. When we want uh, the probability of a sequence of events, it's always a good idea to use a tree diagram. So let's just go ahead and construct one. On a tree diagram, when we go along the branches, we multiply. And then when we go down the branches, we add. So here we're looking for the probability that he will hit the bullseye in his first and second shot so the first shot needs to be a win and also the second shot needs to be also a win so we're going along the branches so we're gonna have 0 0,5 multiplied by 0 0,5 so let me just write that so we have 0 0,5 multiplied by 0 0,5 which is gonna be equals to 0 0,25 right and then let's move to 11.2 11.2 says calculate the probability that harry maguire will hit the bull's eye at least twice in his first three shots at least twice in his first three shots we have different ways of which that can occur he can hit the bull's eye in his first two shots in his last two on his first and his last just like that right so let me add probabilities for the third shot on our tree diagram here at the end of this branch we have win win and win right uh is is eating the bull's eye on all three shots and then at the end of this branch we have win win loss and here we have win loss win here we have win loss loss uh here we have loss uh win win and then we have loss win loss and then we have loss loss win and then we have loss 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 so we need at least two wins right because harry maguire has to hit the bullseye in at least two shots of the three he has uh so clearly here we hit in the bull's eye right we have uh, three wins here we have two wins which is what we want here we also have two wins and then here it's two losses so this sequence of events doesn't satisfy our requirement here we also have two wins and then two losses two losses and three losses there's four possible ways of which harry maguire can hit two of three shots right so we're gonna calculate the probability of each of those we're gonna be going up the branches so we're gonna multiply but then when we are done multiplying we have to go down the branches and then we're gonna add the probabilities of those events so let me just show you what i'm talking about so win 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 will be 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 and then so we basically have 0 0.5 to the power 3 right and then win win loss will also be 0 0.5 to the power of 3. Uh, why is win 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 the same as win win loss probability wise? That is that is because the probability of the win and the loss are equal, they're all 0 0.5, right? So here we're also gonna have 0 0.5 to the power 3, and then here for loss win win, we also have 0 0.5 to the power of 3. So now we have to add these four 0 0.53s, right? So we're gonna have 0 0.53 plus 0 0.53 plus 0 0.53 plus 0 0.53. And then uh, that will be equals to 4 multiplied by 0 0.53 which is a cost you have so now we can move to 11.3 11.3 says glenda also has a 50 percent chance of hitting the bull's eye on each shot harry maguire and glenda will take turns to shoot an arrow and the first person to hit the bull's eye will be the winner calculate the probability that the person who shoots his first will be the winner of the challenge the person who shoots his first will be the winner of the challenge so let's make an assumption here 
let's say Harry Maguire is going to take the first shot, right? So when Harry Maguire takes the first shot, the probability of Harry Maguire hitting the bullseye, it's 0 0.5, right? Because they all have a 50% chance of hitting the bullseye. And then Glenda comes through and takes a shot, right? And then when she takes a shot, she also has a 0 0.5 chance of hitting the bullseye. But then Maguire already has a 0.5% of hitting his shot, right? So Glenda needs Maguire to miss his shot first, and then she's gonna multiply that by the probability of her hitting the bullseye. I hope that makes sense because in order for Glenda to take that shot, Maguire has to miss first, hence this 0 0.5 here. And then let's assume that Glenda also misses. Then Maguire comes back and he takes his second shot, right? But already Glenda has a 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 percent of eating her shot. And we would like her to miss. So we have to carry that probability. And then when Maguire takes his second shot, we're going to multiply that by 0 0.5 right and then assuming that maguire also misses his shot glenda will take a shot right which will be this probability of maguire multiplied by 0 0.5 so we're gonna have 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5 right and then let's assume again that glenda misses his shot so i'm sure now you can see the pattern right we have we had one zero comma five here here we have two we have three we have four so for maguire we're gonna have zero comma five to the power of five so this is the probabilities of the first person who takes the first shot right you can see we started with zero comma five uh now we have zero comma five to the power three now we have 0 0.5 to the power of 5. Now we basically have the probability of the first person uh, winning the challenge being a geometric series, which is converging. Since this geometric series is converging, we can calculate the sum of the geometric series to find the probability of that person, right? So we can say that that probability will be equals to A being the first term divided by 1 minus r we know that a is 0 0.5 because that is the first term we know r will be t2 minus t1 or t2 divided by t1 or t3 divided by t2 so we're gonna have 0 0.5 divided by 1 minus so let's take 0 0.5 to the power 3 as t2 right so we're gonna have 0 0.5 to the power 3 divided by t1 which is 0 0.5 and then when you put that in your calculator you're gonna get 2 divided by 3 uh, which is just basically 0 0.67